So, you want to become the fry cook at the Krusty Krab, but that job's already taken and he'd be pretty upset if you took it from him. Hey guys, welcome back to Spot Kai. I'm Kai and Taylor back once again taking a look at how to change the way your viewport looks in Blender. So, let's go ahead and get started right off the bat. If you have a scene like this, you can see, you know, have regular objects, regular things, whatever, da da da. You have a couple things here, Suzanne, a couple of cubes, you know, some books on a shelf. If you go up here um, to the top right, you see we have all these default kind of settings, these things, the the, the wireframe, the solid, the, the material viewport. So if we had materials on this, obviously, you know, you know, things would be different colors and whatnot. Um, and we, of course, have the render viewport shading. And if we have a light in the scene, then you can see we can see things a little bit, uh, a little bit easier than we than we were. All right. So that's these are all the basic things that that we all uh, we all already know about. So let's go ahead and go back to solid viewport shading. We'll take a look at this little drop down here. This little drop down. If we hit this little drop down, um, how many times did I say this, this little drop down? Uh, probably about four more. Let's get it. Um, we can see lighting up at the top here has studio, matte cap, and flat. Three different kind of choices that we have here. So if I if I swap this to matte cap, you can see things kind of switch a little bit. They look a little a little different. And me personally, I actually like the way the matte cap looks a little bit better than the regular studio. Um, and then of course we have flat, which is literally just um, you know flat color which would be nice if you're doing some certain things but definitely not for this because we can't see anything that's just solid white um so let's go back to uh let's go back to studio here and if we take a look uh, at this little this little uh, uh, uh circle right here the sphere then this is going to change our lighting where our lighting is kind of set up so if you're familiar with the material viewport right and you hit this little thing here you know you, you know how you can change all the the colors the tones all that stuff you know i don't know if you've ever done this but this is this is something that's really cool as well so if you've done this, this actually helps a lot when you're making some certain kind of things. It, it really gives you a nice different perspective on what the scene could look like. Obviously, it's just material viewport shading, so it's not your render. But the same thing with solid viewport shading, it's, it's kind of the same idea here. So these are kind of different lightings you can go with. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, they kind of they kind of are the same um, ones that uh, material uses, because I believe this one is uh, this something like that, some, something around there or whatever, whatnot. But, uh, but yeah, so that's how you can do that, which is really nice. You can have solid viewport chain, but you can have the tone be a little different depending on what you're working on. You want it to, you want it to feel a little bit different, which is fairly, fairly nice. My favorite one is I think the last one. Um, potentially and if we take a step down here to the color uh, you can see that we have the ability to change the material to the object to the attribute single random so all this basically means is we can make this uh, if we do single we can make it a different uh, everything a, a singular color so we can change everything to be purple or maybe red maybe green um, if we change it to texture it'll be the textures that we have which we don't have any set up obviously so I wouldn't do that um, but the one that's really interesting to me is random because when we click random, as you can see, it gives everything a different random color, which is actually like super beautiful. I love this because it separates objects really, really well. And um, obviously, you know, this if we if we're looking at it like this, then this is kind of hard to see some things. Um, but if we put random on instantly, you see all the objects completely individually. And I think that's really, really cool. Now we can take this a step further by going to the background. Now we can change this from the theme or whatever your theme is to the world, which is just solid gray. Um, my theme background is also gray, so it doesn't change too much. But if your if your world if your if your Blender theme is a super different color, then that'll help, obviously. But the thing that's gonna really really like make this super cool is this bit down here, the cavity bit. So if I click cavity, instantly you can see what it does, which is so so super cool. It gives it that nice highlight and shadow effect going on with everything. So it's kind of like a mimic of like I said, edge like edge highlights and then ambient occlusion so if we zoom in here on uh, a couple of these little places in here so you can see what's going on um and we and we change around some of these things i'm going to put the screen the type from screen to both because screen would get rid of all the shadows obviously so let's put them on both and see what it does boom look at those shadows in there now if we uh go back and forth you can see the difference is, is quite substantial but if we want to make this even brighter we can go ahead and change the ridge which makes it like so that the the there's like highlights like a, a softer highlight on the edges as well as the the sharper highlight which is very very cool so i'll put that maybe about 1.5 and then if we want to change the valley the valleys would be the creases the valleys would be the 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 shadows the 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 deeper the deeper pieces so let's go ahead and put that on maybe 1.7 something like that that's pretty cool um, and then of course we can change the actual thickness of all these as well. So the brightness of the ridge, we can make it a little less bright in the, 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 the brightness of the, uh, the valleys, which is the hard edges for the shadow, which I don't really like too much. So we might actually just remove that 
all together. Um, so there we go. I think that looks absolutely insanely cool. A super cool ambient occlusion effect on top of the highlight edges, which I think the highlighted edges is very cool. So if you've ever played around with like Minecraft shaders, it looks kind of like that to me, the, the highlight on the edges there, which is very, very, very cool. Um, now we can also change the outline. Uh, we can add an outline to everything, like a like little Borderlands effect. We can put like everything on white, which is also very, very cool. I think this is very useful as well. Um, we can also make everything red or green or whatever color you want, of course. Um, most people will probably just leave it on black, to be honest with you, but you could definitely put it on white, put it on something. Maybe a gray color would be nice. Maybe something in between. Maybe something like uh, just a little softer. I don't know. What, you can do whatever you want, but I, um, I would probably stick with maybe white or... Um, or black to be honest with you but yeah so this is a super cool way to uh kind of change around your uh your viewport now the last thing i want to do is i want to go to the mat cap settings over here um and then i want to i want to play around with this as well so we see you see how we have the random still on and we can we can keep that we can put it on single do whatever um if you just want everything to be the same color and just have those edges so you can see it that also looks really good so this is also something that looks really really cool you could do that like this as well and just use it this way um but uh, I do want to talk about the matte cap textures real quick. So if you go ahead and go up to the, the matte cap and then select this little sphere here, this one looks like a pea. Wow, that one looks like this one looks like a pea. Wow, that's cool. Like, like a little vegetable. Anyway, um, sorry, I got a little distracted halfway through. Um, you can go, you can go and do a lot of these different uh, a lot of these different textures, materials, which look super cool. That's insane. Like that is the coolest thing. Um, they have a little chrome one here as well. The chrome one looks really cool. It's like that episode, that one episode of SpongeBob, SpongeBob reference in the beginning. Everything's coming together. Sorry, that was an Emperor's New Groove reference. Um, this one looks like, uh, I don't know, Dookie. I don't know what that one's supposed to be, but it's, <laughs> listen, you could do it. This one's like clay. This is what you use to sculpt. This is actually a really good sculpting, uh, Matt Cap because, um, because it's a, it's a really nice natural color, natural tone. So it looks really nice. It looks really nice. It looks like, it looks like clay as well. So I have the shiny one here. You have a bunch of different options is what I'm saying. So very, very cool stuff you can do here with all of these. And of course, if you want to keep the, the color on random, you could still do that and make everything be random color, but it is still of, of that like metal look or, you know, maybe the, the, the more clay look. It's a little harder to tell here, but um, what does the green look like? Yeah, it's a little harder to tell with the ones that have color to them, but the ones that are like just supposed to be glossy or shiny or metallic, very cool stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys saw something new. I think this was meant to be skin, I believe. Let's take random off. Yeah, I think this was supposed to be like a, a more skin tony kind of thing. Super light skin tone, but still, that's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you learned something new today. Um, go ahead and make your uh, viewports look super cool. I will see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye.